Posey Gloves here and today we're looking at FM synthesis and I'm going to be using citrus today and we are looking at basic waveforms. This is going to form the foundation um, when we get into later topics. It will become relevant as the shapes appear and you'll see when we get into a little bit of the ratios and carrier modulator relationships that go on behind the scenes. So this is like stuff that's super mega important. So Let's talk about this. Now, I know this is covered in my series, but I want to talk about it a little more in depth in this one. So, Citrus has this waveform morphing capability here. And one of the great things about it is you can take it, you can right click and say convert to sign harmonics. This upper one is all the harmonics that are active. So we see that our first, our front, our fundamental is active because that's all that a sign tone is. And we see that it is 100% out, well, the phase is at 100%, meaning it's gone all the way through the phase. It's essentially starting at zero. I don't know why they show us this. You could have this all the way off, and it would mean the same thing. So when we play it, that's what we get. And we should take some notes here. So uh, here it is on the spectrum, but let's go to our signal. So we notice that it is a continual curve. It is a, it is a graph of a circle. So as our circle moves, it gets graphed. We get a sine wave. This should be not news to you because of the sound and synth basics series that you of course know about so now if we click over here we can change it to a from a sine wave to a triangle wave and we can right click convert to sine harmonics and boom we get the harmonics what is going on here this is the triangle wave so we can see our harmonics get much quieter much faster i actually talk about this in the basic waveform video in that series so again if you haven't watched that series you can see i'm going to be building off that quite a bit so make sure you've watched that uh series because i'm not going to explain the triangle wave and the, why these amplitudes are the way they are what i will say that i didn't say in the other one is as you can see we have a very particular phase relationship here we have something that's 50 percent, so 180 degrees out of phase out of phase and then every what is that one two so one two three four five every fifth all the fifths and then another one two and then so it's got this pattern going on so we have in phase 50 percent out and then this is a hundred percent in phase it's the same thing as this i don't i don't even don't ask me why it's interpreted this way uh then 50 another 180 out uh no, 50, then in phase, out of phase, in phase, out of phase. And you see there's, there's a pattern. It's very noticeable. And, whoops, sorry about that. If we zoom out, we can see it just continues on forever. So that's a triangle wave, okay? And we'll notice that it is a straight line. This becomes super mega important later on. If we right-click again, we get a saw wave. Let's convert this to sine harmonics. And you can see we use every single harmonic that's available to us, every single one. So, yeah, and it's, they're all in phase. That's something you need to be aware of, and it is a straight line. And here we have a square wave. And if we were to convert this to sine harmonics, you can see it's just it's the same thing as a saw wave, only every other harmonic. Now, why is this important? Well, it's important because we get some fundamental relationships. Now, this is going to be a little ways down the road, but I'll show you some of the any any moron that's just tinkering with this is going to discover this. But we I need to point out that like these. We need to be conscious that these relationships are happening because we're going to come in here. Oftentimes, I'll come into Citrus specifically for the waveform capabilities. And that's because you can add your own higher harmonics and change this. You can move it around. You can change the phase of it. This, so this bottom one is the phase. This top one is the harmonics. This is more of like a Citrus specific thing. So I'm not going to be focusing on it. But you want to know about waveforms and their basic properties because every synthesizer is going to offer you, every good FM synthesizer is going to offer you those various formats. And they're also going to offer you um, the probably some more advanced ones with harmonics introduced. But you need to know the basics so that when they give you the more advanced ones, then you know what you're talking about. So that's really great and dandy. Now... What are some practical applications of this real fast? Just because, again, this is going to be later on, uh, but we'll discover some of this later on after we talk a bit about like the math behind what's going on here. <clears throat> of course, in a way that's not scary. So uh, the first thing to take note of is with a sine wave oscillating itself, the feedback, we get a saw wave. And on this one, it's important that I turn over sampling on. So we get a saw wave. Now... Okay, that's really great. And now again, I'm skipping steps right here. But if I oscillate a sine, if I operate 
If I modulate a sine wave by another sine wave, we get that. But if I use a triangle tone, well, let me make this much slower. That's good. And then we'll make it a triangle wave instead. As you can see, that's a very different relationship. If I slow it down, it's like it's teleporting. Versus the sine wave. This is a very important thing to note. Now, I'm going to talk about things. Some people will give you their jazz about what, oh, it's the phase and all that. But I want to talk more specifically about, I want to get even more exact than that answer. Because it, it becomes important later on when we start, when we want to be really specific. Now, I've seen a lot of other videos out there that, you know, they, they explain how to do some stuff. But they just don't go far enough. So, we're going to go farther. Now, in the next video, probably going to be talking about high harmonics and adding them. And you should be familiar with summing signals from my sound and synth basics and some of the things that happen when you add signals together, you know, things like phase relationship and stuff. So I'm not going to be spending my time talking about basic synthesis ideas that I have a whole series for. If you have any questions, let me know. Subscribe and have a blessed day.